Hello. Let me tell you about our three-year bachelor program in business administration and digital management. Business administration and digital management gives you a general understanding of business administration and insight into the possibilities and challenges that digitalization creates for companies. You learn about strategy, data and technologies to manage digital transformations and business solutions. But what does that actually mean? Well, the really big point is this. When we talk about digitalization in a business context, we are talking about pretty much all aspects of a company's existence and activities. And businesses that are slow to identify relevant digital solutions and who fail to integrate them well into their operations and development will miss out on important possibilities for adding value to what they do. Digitalization affects how companies work with data. It has become possible to gather and analyze huge amounts of information. This creates foundations for making good business decisions and creating strategies that would have been unimaginable just five years ago. This, for example, could be data about consumer behavior and buying patterns, or data that can help optimize how a company uses its resources. Digitalization also has a major impact on how we communicate and work together inside companies and other types of organizations, as well as how we communicate with consumers and business partners. Indeed, digital forms of communication have become part of the way companies manage employees and markets. Digitalization completely changes how many processes are carried out in companies. This could be how we manage our financial resources, how we develop new products and services, or how we develop and implement new business strategies. Then there is the challenge of making sure that the people who work in the company managers as well as employees actually understand the digital aspects of what the company is doing and can integrate them into their daily work as well as in development processes. And on top of that, digitalization can often create resistance among those who don't really like change. So how do you make sure that everybody is on board? And of course, no other aspect of modern business is changing and developing as quickly and maybe also as unpredictably as digitalization. Companies constantly have to manage digital transformation and change. Understand new technologies and how to use them. Understand how they integrate digital solutions as part of everything they do. This is a challenge on the practical and operational level, as well as on the strategic. Also, digitalization raises many ethical questions and concerns. How do we draw the line between gathering data and spying on people? How do we use big data responsibly? How do we communicate and motivate without unreasonably manipulating people? On top of the ethical aspect, you could mention the simple fact that not all forms of digitalization are good. How do you make sure that you choose the right solutions and don't get carried away by something that looks cool and fancy, but actually isn't the right solution for your business and your needs? Digitalization is not a goal in itself. A company always needs to consider how digital solutions add real value to its business. Those were just a few examples of how the benefits as well as the challenges of digitalization can be huge for businesses and hugely important. And this is what the Business Administration and Digital Management Program is all about. What then are the topics you'll work with on business administration and digital management? Well, you'll receive a general introduction to business administration. You will learn about topics such as accounting, finance, marketing and organization to give you an understanding of how companies are operated and managed. You will learn about digitalization and data.
This covers everything from understanding the technologies and data-driven business solutions to understanding public regulation of digitalization and how to manage and implement digital solutions and big data. Additionally, you learn about digitalization in a societal context. How is digital change affecting the economy and how does it impact the world around us? In addition, you'll learn about research methods. That gives you an understanding of how to use, create and evaluate knowledge in order to make business decisions based on actual knowledge rather than just guesswork. The research methods part of the program links with the way companies work with data. Of all the bachelor programs at CPS, digital management is the one that is the most integrated and interdisciplinary. On nearly all courses, you will meet elements from several different fields, business perspectives, Digital perspectives and economic and societal perspectives are constantly combined and woven together. This of course makes sense on a program where one of the main points are that digital solutions should never be an add-on to existing business activities, but rather integrated into everything the company does. On the fifth of the six semesters, you study elective courses which you choose yourself. The fifth semester is also where you have the opportunity to go on exchange and study abroad at one of the 300 or so CBS partner universities. Most digital management students choose to go on exchange, but you also have the choice of staying in Copenhagen and doing your electives at CBS. Now you know something about the aim of the digital management program, what you'll be working with and why. But what will the program demand of you? And what might it be a good idea to consider before you apply? Well, I'll tell you all about that in the second video.